have a little bit more fun when you're promoting a PDF or an invitation or an invite to your email list, something like that. I'm going to show you a really fun technique that you can do in Canva where you can make something pop out of an envelope or out of a folder. That way you can create some really fun promotional graphics for your opt-ins. So let's dive into the tutorial. So for this one, we have to actually build the envelope. So I'll just create a copy and we'll start working on that one. So what I've done is built it up first with shapes. So as you can see here, we've got a variety of different shapes to build this because if you just use an envelope out of here, you haven't got that slipping of behind and in front. You aren't able to slip something in behind in between like that. So we can just build one. So I'll show you how I went about building it. So what I did was I grabbed a picture of an envelope out of here to use basically as a guide to look at how can I make the envelope shape. So then I've gone into shapes here and we've grabbed a triangle, turned it around so it's 90 degrees. And this just use this envelope here as a guide to make that. So then I pick a color, let's do something different. And, and then to make it exactly the same both sides, we right click and duplicate. And then we just rotate it so it's rotated 90 and put it on that side. And then we're going to put one down the bottom here. But this time we're going to resize it like this. Now, obviously we need to make this a rounded top. So what we can do is come over to border styles and go rounded so we can make it rounded. Now, obviously what it does is it makes these corners here at the bottom rounded too, but we want it flat. So that's why I pulled it up a little bit. Then I'm going to grab a flat rectangle and put that in at the bottom just to fill in there to make that very bottom bit straight. Now, as you can see, we can't tell the difference between all these parts here. So I'm just going to move this envelope out of the way for a minute. So what we need to do to make it look a little bit more 3D is we're going to go to shadow in our search. And you can grab this one here, the shadow. So we're going to rotate it, put it in position, put the transparency down a bit because it's quite harsh. Then we're going to grab this. Then we're going to grab the triangle here that has the rounded corners and layer bring to front and now we can see what's going on with it so if we go back to layer show all layers we can also grab that one that way if we need to just adjust it and then we want to click these three dots and duplicate so now this second one we're going to turn it around this side put it in position and then we're going to move it sit under there Yeah, like that so now it looks more like an envelope so you can position it how you want to get the style that you want so you probably can't get it right down the edge because we had to do this flat bit here but it's up to you how you want to make it look so just play around with that shadow to get it just right so now we've got to add this background so to do the background we're going to go back to elements grab a square so for this one we can use a different color and layer send to back and then we want to make this top part. And round it. So if you want to be able to try and get these edges here, you can duplicate, have a second one that doesn't have rounded corners and then just crop it down. So you can basically do each corner. Now we can group all them, so click all of them and group. So it's all one piece. Now we're going to delete our old envelope that we used as a guide. So now we've got an envelope. See here, we've got this funny little line here. So you can fix up anything you need to edit. And once you're happy with your envelope, now you're going to go down in elements to frames. Grab this square one and we're going to put it in position here and we're going to put it in between. So what we're going to do is right click, 
layer, show you layers, and we're going to bring it in so it sits behind now. That one accidentally ended up in the wrong spot, so we put that. All these ones at the back here, and oh, we want this one to sit in between. So we've got all the front bits of the envelope there, the the frame here, and then the back bits of the envelope underneath. So now you can go to your uploads and upload whatever it is that you want that you want to pop out. So let's say we want to put this in, you can position it to how you want it to look. So you've got to put it in position for what you want the final thing. So where do you want it to sit when it's finished, the animation? Now we're going to click on it and go to animate and baseline. Now it's going to be quite quick at first. You want to send it down to zero and you want to make sure you've got that up arrow one. And now it looks like it's popping out of the envelope. So with this last one I did here, where I layered it up, I also went and stuck the animation of the stamp on top. And then to do this one here, I actually did this in the typography advanced lesson, but just to go over it again, just do it on this one, we guess we just grab some text. Now we go to FX and curve and you want to make it so it turns right around to a full circle. So you want to make sure you get all the styling right first because it can change. So if we wanted that capitals now it's going to be bigger so we need to change that before we make it a full circle. So once you've got your full circle then you go to animate, scroll right down to rotate. And now you've got that rotating too. So you can create something really cool like this. Now make sure with this too that you only do on enter so that it doesn't look weird trying to disappear or anything afterwards. So just have on enter. And that's how you can create something really cool, some sort of promotional thing, show something like your newsletter or some other thing that people can receive in the mail, anything like that. So it can be a really fun way to animate a graphic that you want to show something that's being delivered. Now for our folder one. So similar to our letter one, we want to create this folder. So I'll show you how I built that. So we'll just get rid of these first. So what I did again, I went and looked in elements for folder and found a folder I can use as a base to try and create the design. So go back to elements and shapes. And we want to get a square with rounded edges. Now you can just get a regular square, use this in rounding corners. So we're going to create a folder shape here. So we can adjust that if we want the roundness. Let's change the color of the folder this time. And so we're just basically building this one out of rounded corner rectangles really. So we're just resizing the different parts. So that's for our front. And then we want one for the back. So you duplicate. Make that a different color. And then we just wanted a little one, the tab over here. You can design it however you want it to look. I just use this graphic as a guide and that can be helpful if you're a bit unsure about how you want something to look. Go find something that you can use and you can sort of pull it apart and look at the shapes that we used to build that up. So you can just build it with shapes. All right, so now we've got our folder and we want to find a picture of a document. So you can just go in your uploads, upload the picture of your document. You're going to slip that in between, so mine just slipped right in there. But if yours doesn't, you go to layer, show layers, and you make sure it's between the back of the folder and the front of the folder, so it sits in between there. Now you can leave it flat like that if you want, or you can put it on an angle if you want to make it a little bit more fun. So we put it in position of where we want it to stop. And again, animate. And, and baseline, on enter, going up, and speed down. And now it looks like something's popping out of a folder. So have fun with these animations and try your own things. Make things pop out of things and stick out of stuff. Have fun with it because there's some really fun things you can do here in Canva. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you give it a go yourself. And if you'd like to learn more about branding, graphic design and using Canva, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time.